G, did you see what happened with Funny Marco and G Herbo? Oh, that shit was blowing out of proportion. I don't know what's what's why everybody tripping. Wait, hold on. What you think? You say blowing out of proportion. What, what's your opinion on it? Because I think that you know it was all you know how you know, that girl, that white girl, that Bobby Alton girl. I think she does that same type of humor, like she pulled it from Marco. So he just, yeah, awkward. That's what it is. That's just shit. He was awkward dude. But I feel like, you know, people try to go back and forth. Like they know what they already getting themselves into. I feel like that's what Z Herbo and Southside was just doing. They was just playing around with him. And that was just the whole thing. And they got people to watch the interview and shit. You don't think they went too far? I don't think they were getting serious, so no, nah, I don't think they were too far. You ain't, see, you ain't watched the interview, because if you watched the interview, you would have been blue. You would have been blue. Do you feel You think it's too far? It ain't even about the conversation. You ain't see when G Herbo took the cup and threw it at his head? Yeah, 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 I guess You ain't true. see when, uh, now it might have been, this all might be marketing, and they might have just said, let's just, you feel me? But it's I don't close, know, right. G, a nigga throw a cup at my head, whether we playing or not, G, we got to get out, folks. We got to we got to box. Yeah, you throw a cup yeah, at like, me, G? Maybe it, was, maybe it was his idea. Maybe he was like, because, you know, G Herbo got this persona, like, you know, you're supposed to be a tough guy. Um, G, I don't know. Wait, can you hear me? I think, yeah, I heard you. Yeah, I think he just got this persona, like, he's supposed to be a tough guy, so... He was like, Marco probably told me, yeah, just throw a cup in my face or something like that or some shit. <laughs> At least it ain't if flopping he, If, he, you know if he did that, that's some, that's some weird ass shit. But I'm you really, so? I'm mad at Funny Marco for not doing nothing, G. Like, that's some weird what shit. That, that's how you get, if he, look, if he never touched him, it's cool. If it's just conversation and niggas being disrespectful, whatever. A motherfucker throw what? a cup at you, G, you got to swing on him. I don't care if you in character what? or not, well, you, I don't get no fight. You on my show in my studio. I don't care if you a gangster or not. I don't care if you had your gun with a 30 clip right on you. You throw a cup on me, I'm swinging, G. I'm swinging. That's just some, I don't know who I'm more mad at. I don't know if I'm mad at G Herbo or if I'm mad at Funny Marco for not doing nothing. Remember, these are these are thugs. You ain't like talking like a regular dude. I don't get no type of, I don't care who you is. I don't, only person I'm not swinging back at is Jesus, folks. Jesus, oh swing. I'm not swinging back at you. Anybody else, G, that's some soft ass shit. And you feel me? And I see a lot of people saying, like, that's just how niggas from Chicago act. Yeah, niggas aggressive and shit, but if a, if any nigga in Chicago throw anything at anybody, it's bink, bink, bink. You feel me? It's over with. Exactly. At least. I even if I lose, then I'm at least try. And it's just on some, a nigga from Chicago gonna try you to see what you allowed him to do. If you let this nigga throw a cup at you, he look at you like a bitch. If you was in jail, you that nigga bitch from now on, G. You feel me? Like, that was some. And I like Funny Marco. I hope that shit was a joke, because if you allowed them niggas to do that, that's a bad look for you, my G. Ooh, see, I, oh, I my think God, G. I, I get, I get bitches saying, everywhere. I, my bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, get, I get what you're saying about that. But I feel like it really was a joke. Like, even though yeah. the cup was, like, probably a little bit too much. But I feel like it was his doing. He was like, all right, let's get some traction. Let's just, just throw something in my face. He ain't got to slap me or spit in my face or nothing like that. But just a cup, I guess, is... Did you see what you they know. did to his watch? <clears throat> no, nah, what did he do to his watch? He had a $30,000 watch. Southside took that bitch, threw it on the ground. You heard it crack. And then took it and threw it on the ground again. Yeah, I would have had to kill him. Oh, uh, you see, I knew you had you hadn't seen the interview yet. You yeah, I'm gonna watch the whole thing. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the whole thing. Cause I I know yeah. funny Marco humor. Like he got that draw. Low key, Bobby stole his whole his whole fucking flow. His whole thing. I'm not doing nothing. No, this, his whole thing. Yeah, his whole thing. His whole flow. But it's like I get his humor is dry, and he they yeah. was doing that. You feel me? And I get G Herbo playing around, but it, it seems like G Herbo. I don't know, G. From the interviews that I be watching the G Herbo, the nigga can't hold his liquor, G. That's what Probably I like. He could have been drunk the whole time. Yeah, that nigga seemed like you feel me. He got he going through some PTSD for real, and couldn't hold yeah. his liquor. Like he couldn't just hold his liquor on Carisha, please, or this interview. Oh, though, so. That's true. I'm gonna watch the whole thing. I'll watch it today, and I'm gonna really see like if he was being disrespectful. But I think it was just a whole joke. Yeah, watch it and let me know what you think, G. I got you, Gary. All right, bro. All right, bro.